Hello and welcome back to Chatter of Cherubs with me, Morgan Reese, the amazing Josh Jones, and even more amazing Alison Spittle. Yay! Yay! Oh, thank you so much for coming on. Oh, I'm very, very excited to be chatting to Cherubs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, what would you think is the most cherubic thing about you individually? Me dick. Your dick. It's yeah. like a little cherub. <laughs> <laughs> Wings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just like this. <laughs> looks like an arrow. Um, that t-shirt's pretty cherub. I know. I don't know if I like it, you know. I bought it the other week. It's a different material. I, I kind of yeah. like doing different materials. Can I touch it? Yeah, of course you can. Right there. So what is that? Material. It's corduroy. It's, we were just speaking about this. What did you think it was, Lucas? I thought it was a crushed velvet. Crushed velvet. It does give that vibe. It's corduroy crushed velvet. That's yeah. how I would describe it. Quite nipple. You can qu- <laughs> you can see your nips. Yeah. <laughs> you can see your nips. Are you saying that to Berlin? Uh, no, I don't oh. think so. I, 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 you, you, I thought it was a great Berlin. I've top. got mainly jumpers. For Berlin. Yeah, so that suitcase is all jumpers. What's going to happen when you're inside a place? Inside. What do you mean? Like, like you'll be roasting. Yeah. But I always wear jumpers. You always see me in jumpers. That is true. Like my body's quite accustomed to jumpers. Okay. As <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you wore a jumper on Jonathan Ross as well. Yeah. <laughs> that feels like an Alan Bennett play. Is like my body's yeah. quite accustomed <laughs> to jumpers. <Yeah. laughs> That's like an opening line. <laughs> oh, I, I can use an Alan Bennett impression. That was my. <laughs> 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 so the answer to that is no. <laughs> I've only seen, uh, is it Lady in the Van? Oh, yeah, yeah, with Maggie Smith. Yeah, that's a good one. Our lady used to live in a van on my aunt's road, but I don't know is if it she? was the lady of the van, van. fame. I'm mm. sure there are other ladies that live in vans. Van. Yeah. yeah. What sort of van did she have? It was, uh, it was a high ace. So... I don't know why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Were you expecting I... big or small as an answer? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I was expecting. But like people living in a van before was seen as like, oh, you've really stepped down in life. Like but when now I grew it's up, cool. Now it's cool. I watch videos yeah. like yeah. van life videos. Oh really? Yeah. You, you see yeah. it a lot in Bristol. Like people living in their vans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they'll, they'll just park up beside your house, but they, they've got the whole shebang there. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the show Tiny House Nation? And no. they, so there are these people who make tiny houses, right? And then they make up a nation. Yeah, but what, but, <laughs> but one one of them is so fit. I don't even know if he's really fit or he's but he's really handy and stuff. Right. And he's like, and he'll always like make make so they'll get like people who are downsizing and yeah. they make them a tiny house, but they make it for their needs. So watching him like make stuff, doubt like. For these people, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's really sexy. Like acting and he's a piece of snowboards wood. as well. Of course he does, and that's quite. Lives <laughs> <good. Yeah. laughs> in a van and snowboards. Yeah, <laughs> but I, no, no, go on. No, it's just like I feel like uh, men who live in tiny vans often have hobbies. Yeah. They're like snowboarding. Yeah, fishing. Yeah. Fishing, yeah. you got to kill the time somehow, don't you? Yeah. yeah. You can't go home. <laughs> and like, have you ever watched van life videos on YouTube? No. Yeah, right, yeah. They're quite gendered. Like, you have the lads who will show off. They'll go like, here is my kitchen, my bathroom, and where I keep my snowboard. <laughs> and like, for women, it would be like, here's my kitchen, my bathroom. Uh, here's my bear mace, my rape whistle, <laughs> you know I mean? my Amazon <laughs> doorbell feature to find the person who killed me. <laughs> We're always preparing for our deaths. My anti snowball yeah. stick. Yeah. <laughs> Men are preparing for like fun, and women are like, it'll finally happen. Like, you know. Do you, do you think you could do it? You, you could. Self defense or. Uh, oh, oh, which question would you rather? Self defense? <gasps> Uh, live in a tiny house. I'm um, so I can answer like both. both. Like uh, <laughs> <laughs> show it off. <laughs> <laughs> so like I I live in like London with four other people, uh, with my boyfriend, and it's like a double bed in this room with a dining table and a projector and like plants, and then we have the kitchen and the bathroom, and that's it. So it yeah. feels like we live in a tiny. I feel like I could fully live within a van already. But in regards to like home intruders, I've had two different 
people come into my house ah. like and be robbed. So oh. uh like I've survived, but like yeah. they definitely got the shit they wanted. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Was you away? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like this happened within like two weeks of each other. So I went so oh I was doing a, I know. I was doing a gig in Dublin and it was about like half ten at night. Got a lift home and this um this woman that I lived with, she was my landlady and she lived in the house. And like I was about twenty two and very like naive and she said to me like you know i asked her if we'd like a, a door for a key for the for my bedroom door yeah because i wanted it locked right she used to do my washing she used wow. to, without me asking her she's oh. like i would find my knickers on the radiator and i'm like this is like <laughs> there's no dignity no. and then um, also she kept telling me that she'd corns on her feet and <laughs> <laughs> she would go talk in my new detail about it obsessed and then go like it. if only there was someone kind enough to help me i've got the equipment right here oh uh, did you help her no but i kept corn teasing her <laughs> i kept like going oh yeah i will like about yeah. our carpal yeah. tunnel but i <laughs> <laughs> she um she went away one weekend with no, with no keys for our doors and um I came in and um I heard footsteps upstairs I put on Graham Norton I was like putting some nuts in the oven at the time and I, got, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm the context of what I was doing when I was 22 why were you putting nuts in the oven Matt the fuck there was like a craze for one month where what well, putting nut, what well, just like hot, like, hot nuts like red hot nuts baby yeah, yeah. Yeah. hot nuts what, yeah. just, <laughs> just like a pack of ready salted nuts no Oh, like we're talking raw cashews, right? Uh, and maple syrup, sea salt, macadamia. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, yeah. that, that sounds delicious. Incredible, right? I was gonna have the night of my life. I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna burn the roof of my mouth while watching Charlize Veron get a tell a shit story. <laughs> I was so excited. Uh, uh, in yeah. my chair, not yeah. shy. <laughs> <laughs> and like I was there and I heard footsteps upstairs and I was like, Lil oh, I shouldn't say the name of the no, but we'll bleep it. We'll bleep but it. Me, I mean, sorry, uh, landlady, landlady. <laughs> and um uh, there was like footsteps again and I was thinking no she's away for the weekend and then I saw this man come down the stairs with like a pillowcase over his face oh no <laughs> and I was like that is not my landlady and then um, was it a plain pillowcase yeah it was my pillowcase <laughs> <laughs> it was mine <laughs> it was, I felt like I was like this is an indignity too far <laughs> like, but like that just makes me think that he just burgled it on a whim because oh, he if totally. he did if he didn't even come with like a balaclava <laughs> and he, he was like he just was like walking past the house like i'm gonna burgle and then he went in and he was like oh i could do with a pillowcase do you think, uh, do you think he was burglar curious yeah, before and then yeah. like today's the day yeah, today's the day <laughs> he so saw, you got burgled in your bed yeah he yeah. found your front door and he was like she's the one <laughs> today. Yeah. and like with him um, but like he didn't take my laptop because my laptop is so shit <gasps> He took my pillowcase. <laughs> he the other pillowcase, like full of my other flatmates' possessions. And like instead of going out the front door, he came into me, and he was like, "Car keys, car keys." And I was standing there, and I was kind of like trapped. And I was like, and I was like, uh, uh, I. I, I I tried to learn how to drive when I was 15. <laughs> Worked the clutch. And there was a language barrier, and he was like, "What the fuck?" And I was like, talking about my dad shouting at me while he's like robbing me. <laughs> so like, yeah, uh, yeah, no, it was so fun. Like, and then two weeks after, moved out of that house because I was like, "There's a stink in that yeah. house." Yeah. Gotta move, new beginnings. Uh, within like a week of moving in, I came home from the cinema with my other flatmate, Hyson, who was. From South Korea, and we were we came in, and uh, we'd just seen Taken Two, and looked up the <laughs> stairs, and there was two men with crowbars at the top of the stairs, and I went to Heisen, I know what to do, I've been through this before, and I just rolled up in a ball, and I was like, you fucking bastards! <laughs> I was like a very angry hedgehog, uh -huh. and the problem was I was rolled up in a ball in front of the front door. They couldn't open the front door to get out. Oh. So they had to like lightly foot me aside like a pair of knickers <laughs> under a bed. So you just turned into a doorstop. I turned into a doorstop. <laughs> the most angriest doorstop. I know what to do. <laughs> yeah, <Doorstop>. exactly. <laughs> That's the first move they teach you in self-defense class. Become a doorstop. <laughs> and what were they wearing? The duvet or? No, they were. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were casual. They were, they were dressed 
quite casual. <laughs> did they have balaclavas? No, they didn't. They didn't. And like they were kind of like, I found them to be nicer robbers than mm. the other robber because the other robber like will not forgive him for like coming into me. He could have mm. went out the front door. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And I would have been like, that bastard took my bedding. You know? <laughs> but like to come in, like it was like yeah. an indignity to her. But like with the other guys. They were more afraid of me than I was of them. Yeah. yeah. And they, what they had robbed was like my, so Heisen had like about 1,500 pounds worth of South Korean money in her drawer and about a tenner of, of sterling actually. Yeah. I've been over to London lately. Guess what they robbed? The tenor. Oh. They didn't take the South Korean money. So yeah. we felt like we robbed them. It felt <laughs> great. But uh, no, oh, but all, all the same, incredibly traumatizing. <laughs> like a lot of my stories. <laughs> I watched Oliver last night. Oh, did that's you, quite that? on brand, isn't it? Because that's about burglars, kind of. Yeah. yeah. And Bill got... Sykes is a burglar. He, he is. He's, a, he's an oaf. Poor yeah, Nancy. Yeah. And he, yeah. No, uh, do you know what? Why don't you drink your water? Yeah, of course right, you can. Sorry. When I watched it, it's, it's sparkling. Be- that, brace yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I know it's sparkling. I'm going to not let it touch my mouth. I'm going to do that thing. But like because it's sparkling, there's going to be an added element of... <laughs> <laughs> <you know? laughs> of course I went up my nose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the time I did poppers. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast house is cocking her head back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could have just drank it from the bottle, but I, I thought know. it was more yeah. in, in, yeah. interesting to I watch wanted you drink to be nice like to that. you. I'm yeah. not asked. That's like, that's like when <laughs> teenagers share the water bottles at, uh, uh, during matches and they just squirt it directly into their mouth. mouth. They go, we can't share the mouthy bit. <laughs> yeah. and, just goes, and just like absolutely deep throat water. <laughs> that would mean we've kissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's all go to the showers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I was watching that, mm. and when when you talk about Nancy, I didn't because when I was a kid and I watched Oliver, I thought Nancy was fit. Like yeah. when I was younger, I was yeah. like, Nancy would fucking get it. And then when I watched it last night, I was like, she's all right. Right, so your taste has changed. <laughs> yeah, well now I was more into Bill Sykes. <laughs> <laughs> we love a bad boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I've, I forgot. Uh, yeah, he's a brutal bastard, isn't he? He really is. I haven't seen it in years, no. but like, okay, uh, that's great. I my dad's a bit Ooh. of a blokey bloke, and like, I bet he can't. Ha- he loves musicals, and he's such an emotional man now. Oh. We, we went to go and see. Uh, oh, he. I can't remember. I was or not, but I do remember vividly my dad having to leave the theater when in Oliver when he's when he's in the coffin. You know, he goes like, "Where is love?" My dad just bursts into yeah. tears. Oh my god! Just, yeah. just this man just openly Where? weeping that, for the that's, pint. That's crying is such a like weird experience. I've never yeah. seen my dad cry. Have you not? No, I've seen my dad. I've seen my dad cry. I've seen it. So I watched the film Crash. Do you remember that came yeah. out? Like. 2006 and it's all about like race relations in LA. And no, I'm. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of speed. The one. <laughs> <laughs> with Sandra well, Bullock. Well, there is a race in there. Yeah, with yeah. Sandra Bullock <laughs> and, um, and Keanu yeah, Reeves. Yeah. I was like, is that about race relations? <laughs> <laughs> if you go under 50 miles per hour, they're going to say that word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see a train. You cried when the train went through the yeah. thing. But like, um, yeah, he started crying because there was like a so context. Parents were freshly divorced. This is like the first time me and dad went on like a one on one trip. And the film we watched, it, a guy gets uh, a guy's daughter, you think, gets shot, and she's about eight years old. And he's just Bruh, like that. And I'd never, I'd never seen my dad cry. It's like, it's like watching a comet. You know yeah. what I mean? You're like, this doesn't happen that often. No. And I shouldn't find this beautiful, or, but I do. Yeah. <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah. I'm gonna... <laughs> Why has my dad not cried? I'm not <laughs> sure. I remember yeah. another time I remember my dad crying. There's a song by, oh, so what's his, what's that singer? Boop, boop, a dink. 
Oh, oh Bert, no, nope. Engelbert yeah. Humperdinck. Yeah, Engelbert Humperdinck. Yeah. He yeah. cried over Engelbert. Yeah, he's, he's got he's Eurovision. Got, yeah, he did Eurovision. He's got one song called "Daddy, Don't You Walk So Fast." It's about a dad leaving the family home, and oh. it's, it's said from the perce- uh, perspective of the little girl that doesn't know why her daddy's walking so fast. Oh. He wants to leave. I've, yeah, like, he has to leave. So have it, you? Uh, I, 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 but he was late. We were driving. He was late dropping me off somewhere. So he just ha- couldn't stop driving, but he also could also not stop crying. Wow. <laughs> so, it's just it goes, Daddy, don't you walk so fast? And he's just go. <laughs> uh, that, that feels like the. Do you think he was about to leave you when he was dropping you off, and then <laughs> that made him change yeah. his mind? Why have you put this son on, yeah. Dad? Yeah, your dad turns around and goes, "I love you, Gail. I love you, kids." And then you drive into a canal. <laughs> 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 I love that not everyone's gonna get no. that reference, and we're not even gonna clear it up, Father. No. If I, you don't know that, you should be ashamed of I yourself. I genuinely think about that as much as September 11. Yeah. Like, that is my <laughs> September 11. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember where I was. I was at my friend Donna's house. I was like, "Have you seen this?" Like, oh, Richard, he, he was the right nasty bastard. He was. He was he worse was. than Bill Sykes. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I think they're both. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, did because I didn't know. Right, it was never right. cleared up. So I was watching Oliver, and then obviously Bill Sykes. Um, <laughs> I don't have to spoil it about Oliver. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Spoiler, <laughs> Spoiler Oliver's an orphan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but obviously, um, Bill Sykes, like, batters. Nancy. But then her leg starts moving a little twitch, but I'm like, is she dead? So we don't know if she's dead, and I'm like, oh, uh, they should have done a sequel. Nancy's Revenge. Were, like, yeah, it'd be like 80 minutes of Nancy's recovery. Yeah. No, it would be, especially in those times. Uh, you know? just- Everyone will cut that bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's my September yeah. 11. That yeah, was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll cut that bit. <laughs> bit <baby. laughs> Don't always take it too far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Have, you, have you ever been in musicals? Have you talked about this before? No. No, we never. Have you never. been in musicals? Yeah. What have you what have you done? South Pacific. I don't know that. that one. No, it's not called South Pacific because that's the word. South Pacific. Pacific. Yeah. Pacific yeah. Ocean, not specific. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a specific ocean. Oh, I've not heard of um, it. Who are you in it? I, w- I auditioned for the part of Widow Twanky, was told I was a shoe in right? You can sing. We've heard you sing yeah. Valerie on karaoke. You can yeah. sing it. You're, you're, you're... <laughs> <laughs> no, I can do I love I can that do... Phantom of the Opera thing you did with Jade was amazing. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. I can do deeper. Yeah? Yeah. Well, hey. yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Um, so what was... Come on, yeah. California, the Maddie's advert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll watch one. a lot of GMTV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. there's that. And, um, what's another like deep song? Uh, you, you can do uh, uh, "Sex Is on Fire." Oh yeah, um, Go on. It's a very similar yeah. to California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> California, my chest is on fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you somebody. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can do just that. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's a musical where I can just come on in the middle of Oliver and be like, you've used somebody, <laughs> Fagan. We, we need to make a, like, a jukebox musical about throat infections for oh. the Kings of Leon. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> good. That good. My, my chest is on oh. fire. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so what other musicals have we been in? Oklahoma. <gasps> Oklahoma, uh, also uh, uh, Showboat. Uh, show. These were all like. Were they all in Ireland? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they were all like. That was uh, in secondary school. Oh, right. Do you have musicals in secondary school? No. I, I think when people possibly... talk about all the school plays and stuff, I'm like, I don't think we had any in high school. Did you, some people talk about like. Uh, 
talent shows and I would find talent shows to be weird because it's essentially like a popularity show I did an one for Oldham College did you? Yeah, I, I did, my I, did, tech college. Was, I, yeah, I did a I did like comedy sketches and I came second the guy who won did a rap about his dead mum I mean you're never going <laughs> to do no, that freestyle no as well it was really good Pretty, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a diss track yeah <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. So, so we won. I had no chance. Oh, <laughs> it's like when you do a comedy competition and then yes. someone starts putting like clown makeup on. You're like, well, we've lost. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I used to write like little plays for my sisters to do in competitions. In Ireland, we have this thing called Score, mm. which is a competition for people that are not physically good at stuff like sport and stuff <laughs> just that like like but you can do irish dancing you can yeah. do general knowledge you can do little plays yeah. and ballad groups i was in a ballad group and um my friend started before me and i made them stop in the middle and then we restarted and it's like in front of a thousand people and i was like eight years old <laughs> no no let's do it again <laughs> and um but the the sketch group is like you have to write you don't have to like most of the kids what they did was they just did stuff from only fools and horses yeah and it would take a whole scene you know where it's like some irish going fella going oh i'm just doing work on here and there's the parrot is dead how do we yeah. get the parrot alive and yeah. i wrote an actual sketch based on like eurovision uh and it didn't get through and i was disgusted <sighs> i made my sister dress up like do you remember johnny logan yes he won, yeah he's just he was like but i made i dressed her like a boy and had her in a big suit and she did That's like so uh cool. it was great but they weren't ready for that and uh, <laughs> i never did it again yeah when i did drama at gcse i wanted to they had like black curtains yeah so i wanted to come in all morph suits <laughs> and then we do um do you know like you do um like the 90s Mortal Kombat games. Yeah. So like two people will be fighting and then they'll be like, kapow, and then bring out like a blue tissue. And oh, wow. like a thing. And my teacher was like, no, you can't do that. And then made us do Mice and Men. And I did a very offensive Lenny. <laughs> 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 As punishment, yeah. I'm not going to be allowed to do what I want to yeah. do. That feels like a lot of male comedians that were like, yeah. I'm not going to be allowed to do what I want to do. I'm going to fucking go in on it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be sorry. Yeah. You know? To be fair, that was like 15 years ago. I didn't right. know any better. Yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I'm no, not judging. I, I, no, we think we've all done accents we've, about 15 yeah. years ago. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, in Wales, you have a thing called an Eisted Fod. Eisted Fod. So it's like again. Is it like, about like Welsh culture? Like yeah, so like... That, like, they they sort of that sort of morphed into like a talent show at schools. Yeah. So, so I, I I did sketches. I did sketches and piano. I can't believe I can play you didn't piano. do suspicious minds. I didn't do suspicious minds back really? then. But I can play piano. I used to play piano at the Eisted for when I competed, and then I also did sketches. But I was I was obsessed with the two Ronnies. I adored the two Ronnies so much growing up. So we did a two Ronnie sketch. I begged a friend to do oh. it. Ah. Oh, which Ronnie were you? Um, I was uh, Corbett. I, right. I, I pretend, was I Corbett? I can't remember. I, I, I remember we did the we did the mastermind sketch. Right. Was right. all the other kids just sat there like what? So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I remember I tweaked all the some of the jokes are. Or like we, those celebrities, it was topical. But yeah. I, so I had to tweak all the jokes. To Peter and, and Andre. I, yeah, yeah, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our current prime minister, Peter Andre. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's known for his mysterious girl? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, oh, and then it was that one. It was you answer the question next. So mm. that was the punchline of the jokes. And I remember having tweaking that, and I, it got laughs. And I remember that's like one of the light bulbs for me, comedy wise, was at the I Stedford tweaking the. T- to Ronnie sketch. There's nothing better than getting your like first laugh, isn't there? Yeah. When I was a kid, I used to like. So Father Ted was massive mm. in Ireland, and I was about uh, seven or six when Dermot Morgan died, 
and uh, all the kids once again another September 11th for me <laughs> I, re- I remember where I was <laughs> um, but like we had, uh, we learned the, the Gaelic word for dying which I've forgotten since then just because like the kid the, you, you'd be asked in Irish what's your news this week and every kid was like Father Ted is dead mm. and we used to we used to play Father Ted oh. so someone would be Mrs. Doyle everyone always used to fight over being Father Jack though because yeah. kids just wanted to swear yeah. like feck and ours did you ever like play games when you were a kid that was like comedy inspired because I feel like that is I remember my first like joke practical joke practical sort of because uh, I, like, I love you Gail <laughs> 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 I um, no, I I I was about seven or eight, and I learnt the word. What I've learnt what anticipation meant. Right. So then I in, I went to my brother, like who was a good few years older, and I was like, oh, what does anticipation mean? And he's like, oh, well, when you anticipate something, and then went to explain it, and I went anticipate this, and kicked him in the ball. <laughs> 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 and, that, and that was that was like the first joke I ever said. <laughs> and I think I that's that, I warned you. Yeah. Hey, I, you still use that on hecklers to this yeah, day, don't you? I think that's how my comedy career began. <laughs> <laughs> oh Who was laughing at that? Like, <laughs> <Me. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, da- my dad was having a practical joke. He's got a pin in his elbow mm. and uh, just broken elbow, smashed it. But it comes out of the sk- it pushes out sometimes. It can slip out and you get- it presses out. Ooh, it, like it, a it, trombone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but he can slide it in painlessly, but Ooh. he doesn't. But that's other people don't know that. So what he would do at the pub is he'd go and grab something. It would he could put it so it would pop out, and then he would just go, "Oh fucking hell, jeez!" And, and, he, and he'd go, you, "You got to push it in. You got to push it in. You got to push it. You got to push it." And he'd get someone else to push it in, and he'd absolutely scream, and he's like, oh, "It's fine." Ah, uh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Does he still do that now? No, I think they took the pin out now. I think if he could have, I think he would have kept it in. <laughs> Just uh, for that joke. I was big into like prank phone calling, uh, specifically Childline when I was a kid. Yeah, I Did used to do, do that? that. I used to do, do that. You used to prank phone call Childline? Yeah, because yeah. I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> Not as an adult. Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> I think you're great, man. Help the kids. Is your fridge running? Pricking. <laughs> that was the big one. <laughs> I don't remember any of you fridge running. No. Your fridge. <laughs> you'd pick up someone and you go, hello? And he'd say something like, you'd pretend you're like, and, uh, unofficially, but this is the fridge police or whatever, you know? <laughs> I'd be like, yeah. I just wanna check is your yeah. fridge running? And then they go and check. And they go, yeah, yeah, it's running. And he go, you better run after it. Yeah, what did we <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss pranking people. I I, know. One that we used to do, which now I'm like, this is actually really bad. I know. Yeah, look, yeah. look, different times. Time. <laughs> Did you ever? I'm, I'm going to think of that all today. <laughs> Did you ever when order I'm... a takeaway? to someone's house <laughs> <laughs> and then stand across the road and watch it come. You would stand across the road. <laughs> suspect, I'm, I'm up, suspect that. number one, then child out on the street at 8 p.m. Recording that. So then the, the, the takeaway would pick up <laughs> and then answer the door and you'd watch it and be like, no, no, and then you watch the driver and be like, oh, uh, it's I mean, really I mean, bad, actually. I was only young. Did you get free takeaway? 
No, it was more just to watch them. Well, it was, like, I guess oh, they, no. they had the, the pay back then as well. They were, yeah, they were it was expecting our cash. cash. Yeah, because I, I used was, to... Oh, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work in a takeaway and like a Chinese yeah, takeaway. Did, a did you do I chippy? Worked, worked first job when I was 14 working in a chippy. I've never worked in a chippy. I wanna, I'll want i tell you about the takeaway after, but like, <laughs> uh, what was the... What was the vibe of the chippy? Well, it was a guy who, yeah. who whenever take one more drink, is that yeah. all right? Thank yeah, you. you can just drink it. I if will. You want. This time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done the fear of yeah. hygiene. <laughs> um, so it was a guy who he he used when people would come in, he'd always be like, "Hey, how you doing?" Blah blah blah, and then it was just like as soon as he left, he'd just bitch about. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it was like the bit, yeah. the cattiest man yeah. ever. Really? Yeah, really? it's where I learned sass, actually. Wow. Yeah, 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 and he just like bitch about them. Um, but, sass and vinegar. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I used to get, um, because it was after school, I'd get six pound an hour if I do a two hour shift, so 12 pound. Right. Or if I do a four hour shift, I'd get 20 quid, so five pound an hour. I mean, that's mm. not good. But yeah. I'd always get a free pie. Oh, very, yeah. you'd get a free pie. Yeah, so Holland, because you have Holland's pies. Yeah. So I'd get a free pie every shift. What about chips? Would you have to pay for chips if you wanted a? No, side... I could have got free food, like full mm. free meal, but I used to just go for the pies. You love pies. Yeah, and I used to get um, peppered steak mainly. It was delicious. <laughs> um, so I used to work there, and I, and I loved it. But then, obviously, like Friday nights and stuff, my friends would be drinking on the park and stuff, and I'd have to wait until my shift ended at nine, and I'd be like, Ugh. yeah, you uh, have to catch up. Yeah. Okay. So then. Um, so one Friday, I, I worked there for a bit by then. I was about sixteen. He was like, um, "You look really bored." Like, he, look, he said, "You look like you don't want to be here." And I said, "Well, I don't, because I didn't know that you had to like lie and <laughs> pretend that you have to want to be there." No, I'm really invested in this yeah, business yeah. venture. So, <laughs> then, so then he was like, "All right, leave then." And I was like, "Okay, whatever." And then left. And I went back to work a couple of days later. And he was like, "What are you doing here? I sacked you." And I was like, "Oh no, I thought you said be like on me holidays." <laughs> 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 but he was like, "No, you were sacked." Wow. That was my first sacking. That's such a like, you, like I, I hate this boss. Number one, he paid you legally, very mm. much under minimum wage. And, he, and then he met a woman on the internet. Of course, and he did. moved away. Of course, and it was this was like before anyone met anyone on the internet. So I, it was like, what is he doing? Like, where did he meet her? eBay? Like, what, <laughs> I don't, what, yeah, what yeah, website? Well, I don't know what did. website it was. Yeah, yeah, probably like Friends Reunited or yeah. something. That was his the... wife left him. And then Good he met her. his his what? <laughs> and then he <laughs> met uh, this woman on the internet. Oh God! It, like I, I for me when I worked in this like I, I I'm trying to think of people that met on the internet. I come from a very rural part of Ireland, and we had this like we have a chip shop in the village, and um, ragged. I know, <laughs> genuinely, genuinely. So there was you know there was a referendum on equal marriage in Ireland. Yeah, yeah. and you could uh, you could have a look and see how. Your village voted because it's like a voting box God. per village. My one voted fifty five percent in favour yeah. of marriage, yeah. and um, the the village next door to us voted against, and they had their post office taken away. And I was like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Why? Because they're not supportive yeah, the, of the, gays. The, yeah, the gays are big in the post office yeah. <laughs> in, in, in Ireland, and they were like, no, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Um, but like we we. Their own chip shop in 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 the village, and like they would name meals in Ireland. It's quite common, like to name meals after characters within the area. Okay. Oh, so wow. like there's a thing in my village called the Bull Box, which was named after a guy who had the nickname the Bull, and he it was like sausages chicken dippers maybe a burger it was a lot of protein mm, involved yeah. right? he was quite a big guy you know? <laughs> but like uh they, they named that meal after him and then you could buy that meal after him that's cute yeah. what, what would your meal be called oh and what would be in it i've, I've named a cocktail after myself oh, really? <laughs> yeah called the spittle spritzer <laughs> <laughs> and it's like got like uh, lime cherries coke and rum 
I'm Ooh. sure someone has done that before, I but like I did that. And it because you can get this like cherries with like the syrup, mm. and I'd pour the syrup in and crush the cherries like it's oh. and then have it with coke. Oh, what's and, your, what's uh, your chippy's names? I I always, I always like chippy's name. Uh, Jackie Chips. Well, <laughs> Friar Tux, but the woman who owned it was called Jackie, so we used to call it Jackie Chips, and her, <laughs> she was called Jackie Chips. <laughs> she was like the Ronald McDonald. She's a perfectly lovely woman. I don't mean in any yeah. way she's a clown. <laughs> I mean like the brand awareness was that but she sold the business on i don't know who the yeah, next I, person is it's not my generation you know yeah yeah um what have you have you got like a local chippy yeah I'll, the one back in my like, murford tidville our local one was called pete's pete pete, pete chinese and chips Chinese and chips, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, we I, must separate the two. Yeah. <laughs> you both grew up in rural, a- rural, yeah. a- rural, rural areas. I grew uh, up in Manchester, so I was spoiled for chippies. Oh, that chippies what? everywhere. You yeah. were like swimming you, in chippies. chippies. <laughs> Just couldn't move for chippies. What was the worst chippy around your area, and why was it bad? Because I, I didn't have any choice, so I'd love to hear. Yeah. I couldn't really think of Which a bad. I, I will but, not be caught dead here. But I used to just go for pies. You were a pie man. So it was fine. A lot of them as well would put, you, um, there's a chippy, and they used to call it a growler, where they'd put a pie in the muffin. Do you know what a growler yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, But you put a meat and potato pie in the sandwich. And have a pie sandwich. Oh, wow. Mm. Just, do they still give it in, like, newspaper? I remember they like, eating chips out of a newspaper. No, I'd, I'd, it would still be wrapped in paper, paper. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. Look how we've changed. What do, what does chippies look like now? <laughs> <laughs> we've had London lives. I just eaten Leon. <laughs> 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 Got some it. rock salt yeah. on that face. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> if it ain't got hummus on it, I don't fucking care. You know? yeah, and sausage and some balsamic. I do, I do love like so. My granddad lives in Lincolnshire, and I do. I uh, like he lives in Lincolnshire, but near Newark, and they got some good chippies there. Mm. Like I don't, I, the chippies down here are shite. The chippies in the south are fucking it's shit. Genuinely, disgusting. chippies in the north are the best. You think it would be? I thought it would be good here. Because like it's a metropolitan area, there's the world's best chefs. Yeah. Like we're ne- like are supposed to be here. Why are we putting up with such shit fish have, and chips? Have you had a chippy pudding? What's a chippy pudding? So it's what you <gasps> have. I want to talk. Yeah, can yeah, we talk about like? Yeah. Can we go in deep in like, <laughs> what, what our local? So it's what you oh my god! So when I'm in Manchester, it's a chippy pudding. So I get chips, mushy peas, gravy, chippy pudding, steak and kidney Full pudding. Meal. Yeah. So it's um like a, it's like upside down. I'll show you a picture. This, I know and a steak and kidney yeah, pudding. And like, suet yeah. pastry. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, and then you My cut in it and it up. just like, oh, just opens up. But I call it chippy pudding because they sell them in the chippies. Because so. it, it, it oozes, doesn't it? Yeah. It's incredible. And then, so you just chop that up and then it's like dribbles onto your chips. <laughs> oh, do you have oh, results in Wales? No. They're apparently so. There's one town in Ireland has Wexford, and apparently some places in Wales, Aberystwyth had it, and it's like this kind of like um, mashed potato that's fried. I think it's covered <gasps> in breadcrumbs. Ooh, it's it sounds amazing. Beautiful, though. and like in our some places in Ireland, you have these things called potato scallops. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. you get them here. Yeah. And like uh, in Dublin, they're called potato cakes, even though they're the same it. thing. Yeah. And I used to get like a potato cake for a euro. And the guy, because I was nice, he would give me a scoop of chips as well. Mm, That's great. a full dinner. <laughs> yeah. Or a quid. It felt incredible. Or have you heard of a spice bag? No, what's yeah. a spice bag? Spice bag is an Irish Chinese combination. It's incredible. So what it is, is you got chips, you got either chicken strips or chicken balls uh, covered in like this hot MSG five spice yeah. concoction yeah. with fried peppers and onions just thrown in the bag oh. and then it's shaken and it tastes like Chinese food on crack. I don't oh think I've ever just... been to a chippy in Ireland. I mean, you know? I'm in Dublin good. next month. I might oh, good mix God, it up a bit. I'll give you some recommendations. Yeah. Cause like, but a lot of them have, that are good have closed down. But in Ireland, like uh, Italian people travelled over to Ireland uh, about 120 years ago. I think before like World War Two, they did it in Scotland as well. And in Wales as well, there's a lot, of, there's, a lot of, there's loads in Wales. The chippy culture is like very Italian family. Like a lot of the chippies in Ireland are called like Borzes or Capellos or mm. you know. It's, so it's like very Italian Irish kind of. It, that's a great thing. Any good food 
lately in Ireland has been like through yeah. innovation of other people tra- yep. living there. Loads you know? of the ones in Manchester are just Chinese takeaways and chips. I don't like the chips that much in a Chinese takeaway. If I'm mm. being, like, and I've worked in a Chinese takeaway. Mm. I, it's, it's not really cooked any different. I can't say, you know, I've seen them be cooked. <laughs> it's yeah. not like I've got, there's a secret. But I don't, I don't like them as much as like, you know, the ones that like, I, some some chippers are. Those love... chips you had last week in the in that club oh, when that good. they were now. What, in that, in that RC club yeah. we were in? Yeah. <laughs> Al- Al- Alison got a free membership to one of the membership clubs because she did the gig for them. Yeah. And then when we went there last week, they were quite rude. They were quite rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they were great yeah. and then we ended up going to like 21 Soho yeah. yeah. nice. <laughs> you got what you're getting Big there up 21 Soho they're lovely <laughs> I swear go there, there during the day it's a lovely place yeah we're we're in London. London. It's a to, I'm literally going to go think and go there do a bit of work now before I'm the going over through. there as well if you want to oh, yeah, oh, yeah. like yeah I've got to go to some run through later but we've got, a, we've got a section of the show yes where we do okay where we do call it was lovely talking about chippers with you <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> We do a call out uh, similar to you, you and all your, your podcast. Amazing. Amazing. Podcast, Wheel of Misfortune. Of misfortune. We've, and you added Kerry Katona. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh God, it's such a good podcast, by oh the way. Oh, my God. I love doing it. She's great. Mm. She's great. Please send in voice notes. Yeah. Uh, some of the voice notes are just turning into brags now. And I'm like, please, like, have some shame. I've yeah. done it. I loved it when you I did so it. You were so great. Yeah. You were, I get to still get people asking after you. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, was, yeah. I, I was a voice note on it. You were a voice note on it. Yeah, well, gotta yeah. Have I was you. a voice note on gotta it. Gotta have you as a guest. Oh, <laughs> one day I'm working my way up. Yeah. <laughs> we did a call out of the worst yeah. Christmas gifts you've ever received. Oh, so, brilliant. So one thing I've done is, uh, so it's two, two, one of them is true, two are a lie. You've got to deduce which one's yeah. the actual truth. We've got true. a series of them. So here you go. Uh, I once opened a gift and found my granddad's teeth. He'd lost them the month before. Okay. A MacBook Air laptop case and then 20 quid towards buying a MacBook Air. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Mum bought me a gym membership, but it was for super off-peak, only on weekends. I think the MacBook is true. Yeah. MacBook? Me too. I mean, the first one is just quite tragic. Yeah. Your granddad in decline. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you think about it too much. <laughs> like with any story. So you know, do you, you just, just have no teeth for a full month? Yeah, it sounds like. Unless he's got backup teeth. Do they, oh, I don't know. Do people have like, backup dentures? Like special occasion dentures. Yeah. yeah. Like little tuxedo. Yeah. Like a <laughs> little bit of bling. Yeah. <laughs> Grills. Maybe, Grills. They, <laughs> maybe they want to like get the youth back and they'll get ones with like braces. Oh, the- <laughs> like full oh, train oh, track. Oh, can you imagine an oh. eight-year-old man with braces? <laughs> I would love it if my granddad had braces. That'd be so cute. I might get him to get braces. <laughs> He's ninety-one. Jim and Gil go for it. That's what that goes Oh my God! Can we do a random Google, Lucas? Will you Google um, who was the oldest person to have train track braces? Yeah, we'll yeah. that would definitely be there. What age do you be like? Oh fuck it! Yeah, <laughs> this time I'm gonna change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once I get these sorted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, bizarrely. It's 89. It's 89? Oh, no <laughs> way. And he's still alive. He says his challenge is to make it to 100. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. To show Man. off those new teeth. I love You'd wanna. That. That's <laughs> so cute. Well, it's true. It's the first one. It's the uh, first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so second look. Yeah. Uh, Dad got me a calendar with naked ladies on it. I came out the following month oh. and he asked for it back. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be needing this. You know? uh, Mum was put weird present. Oh, absolutely weird that you're even thinking about your son's erection yeah. in any way. Yeah. And you're like, this might help you. you yeah. know? <laughs> for a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mum bought me tickets to see Mamma Mia in the West End because her friend thought I might enjoy it. I am in the show. Whoa. Oh. Th- oh. Thinking she was getting something to thinking she was getting something to congratulate us on our child, my mum accidentally bought my partner a very gay crop top that read World's Greatest Daddy. Mm. <laughs> Feel free to chip in as well, Lucas, if you've got any thoughts. <laughs> I mean, what was the first one? The calendar one of Naked oh, yeah. Ladies. Mamma Mia, World's Greatest Daddy. 
I think Dada. Yeah, the Daddy. last one. Yeah. Well, it's the first one. It's the Naked Ladies oh, calendar. Wow. Why? Part you... of this. Why? <laughs> why? Why was his dad buying him a calendar? Do you think he was doing it to try and make him not gay? What one or, last Hail Mary? Yeah. Thing. yeah. Or coax him out of it. Yeah. To what, smoke him out. Smoke like, him yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Naked ladies. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but also, like, like. Yeah, that's just so weird, buying... Stuff to help you... It's like when mums buy condoms and stuff for the kids. I don't kids. know, I don't think oh. that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Once, <laughs> so, because I use Vaseline on my lips, my mouth <laughs> lips. Your mouth lips. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mum got me, like, a box last Christmas with loads of different flavoured Vaseline. Yeah. And my stepdad, not joking, was like, right, come on, and we... Don't care about him being gay, but don't buy him that for him to have sex. Let him buy it himself. <gasps> and I was like, it's oh. for my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, also, I'm doing quite well. I can afford lube. <laughs> yeah. oh I have drawers full. Oh <laughs> but that, that, is, I, that is straight people sexualizing other things. Yeah. All, yeah. All the time. Uh, yeah. But I, was, I said to him, do you genuinely think I get back? Vaseline and just shove it around my bum hole and be like, I'm done. Like, I get lube. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about putting alleole, alleole flavored Vaseline on my like ass. Like WD 40. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> my asshole's creaking. Yeah. Any lube will do. <laughs> so, we'll do a, a couple more. Uh, another one. My... Did you make up the lies? Yeah, I make They're up incredible. the lies. Oh, do you like... make up the lies? Yeah. Cause Cause you know what? You do so much for this podcast, and I really don't appreciate you enough. <laughs> it's very Again, well I was the one that was late today, and he came from oh. Bristol. Oh. <laughs> Left at Look, four. I, I've been in a double act on a podcast. One person has to do yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very much the Morgan. <laughs> you are the Kerry Cadone. Yeah. <laughs> I will facilitate yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Next love. My aunt. My aunt gave me a dirty glass from the local pub. My cousin got me a dog lead because I like dogs. My nephew got me Fortnite on PlayStation. It's a free game. Uh, I'm going to go dog lead. Let's go dog lead. Dog um, what was the other one? Middle you, one. A dog lead, dirty pint glass, Fortnite. Pint glass. I don't know what Fortnite is, so I'm just taking that one out. Lucas, you want to have a go? A uh, pint glass, I think. It is a pint glass. A it's pint, pint glass. glass. <laughs> oh my god. What's Fortnite? I mean, it's, a play, it's like a, it's a game. It's like a shooter. Shooter. Oh. I don't think that ant's doing very well. Right, Smash like, if we Brothers. We were to delve into this a bit more. It'd be quite upsetting. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> oh, then we got. Oh, we got one more. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> so a jigsaw for the Queen Mother's 100th birthday. I would love that. Already put together and stuck to a board. <laughs> oh, my God. That's even better. <laughs> my partner bought me a Burr Bacharach cover album performed by someone in his office. Mum bought me a face... Mum bought me face masks because I was very COVID conscious with commuting again, but they were all face masks for skincare. I think the Burr Bacharach is so specific that it's true. I'm gonna go mum face masks. It's the jigsaw. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm normally well there at this. You usually smash. You're it. incredible. Like, <laughs> at this, lion. This, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like you it, to go. You should be a spy. I should be. You <laughs> should be. Uh, I would watch that. I would watch it. I'm um, the worst present I was ever given. My granny gave me. Uh, I was about like eight. And my gran generally gives everyone like a big sack of like stuff they've either left at her house that belongs to us or stuff she's found in a charity shop. And I once got, uh, it was like eight and I got a tongue with Capricorn <laughs> written across the front of it. And I'm a Gemini. So <laughs> I, <was> like, is... <laughs> I don't think she looked at the back. You know what I mean? I mean, she went, oh, this is nice. <laughs> like... I, I remember being about six. And my grandma saying, we've got no, um, we're not having Easter eggs this Easter. Instead, we've sponsored like for a, um, in like a village, 
there was like a chicken for like like which village like in like africa <laughs> okay, or something. okay and like sponsored for like a chicken so they can like lay eggs and stuff and we've sponsored it in your name and i remember being sick to be like no <laughs> <laughs> i want my egg <laughs> and i was like screaming <laughs> like why did they get a chicken i want a chocolate egg <laughs> <laughs> It's like a tested Charlie in yeah. the chocolate factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Swallowing the gobstopper so no one else can have it. <laughs> oh, they come into the end. Usually we do also do a bit where we pitch you ideas for different TV shows. Amazing. <laughs> or other bits that we had Daniel Foxy and we were pitching in musicals. Oh. So I was going to pitch you three TV. We haven't got time, but one of them was okay. gonna, it was a TV show was going to be called Spittle or Swallow. It was going to uh. be about you uh, bird watching with all the comedians. I would love that. Yeah. I would love <laughs> that. That's great. Yeah, yeah, that is a great thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a carapac and no birds here. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it would be like, you know, it would be like Bob and Paul go fishing, but yeah. it would be you bird watching with the comedians. I, can we get on to someone? Yeah, yeah. Bit of swallow, what a title. And then the other one was called Alison Moye or Moye Alison. And Brilliant. It, so it would be, it'd be like Family Fortunes against Alison, uh, Alison Moye. Moye. Yeah, yeah. Who is my enemy? Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or just like um, a champagne <laughs> follow up Alison Spittle. Oh, right. And you, do a fa- and you go against each other. That would be amazing. And the other one is that I think you would be brilliant in a detective series. Yes. Mm. Uh, but I also, because you're like a podcast superstar, I want to p- combine them both. Could I do a murder podcast where like... Yeah. Oh, no, you're a podcaster that solves crime. You're called PC Pod. PC Pod, right. And you, by interviewing all the suspects on your podcast, you can work out who the killer is. Jesus. Yeah, okay. So, that's right, I'll get the briefs up. I'll get yeah, in touch. I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, well, people will talk. Oh, people will talk. I think Spit at Last while I was <laughs> my fave. It's just, a, it's just a great name. I mean, I have set, had that shouted at me yeah, in school. <laughs> but what a great experience to have that as a TV show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> little redemption arc. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I do love my surname. Um, Thank you so much for coming on. You've been wonderful. Thank you. I've it's had a great so time. Nice. Yeah. Anything to plug? I've got to plug myself. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, my show. Uh, so I've a I've a tour show coming out next year called Wet. It's going to be out in Glasgow, uh, Edinburgh, Manchester, Liverpool, uh, Bristol. Unfortunately, no no Yorkshire. <laughs> uh, not my fault. I'm just not big enough to do loads. That's so right, right. and I got a podcast called uh, Wheel of Misfortune with Kerry Katona uh, on BBC Sounds. You should listen to it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll put all the links to all those in the episode Amazing. description and etc. Thank you. That's yeah, I'm so happy that you found a lovely audience. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been really it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not on YouTube, but they are in other places. <laughs> <laughs> I keep bringing it up every episode, yeah. and someone messaged me like, "Please don't get rid of it on YouTube." Yeah. I was like, "Well, tell your friends you can't." <laughs> <laughs> we also have fans on a website that had to be put down today because they keep on taking screenshots of no, us. Well, no, we said to us to make. Make it sound nicer. Morgan has been putting first traps on his Instagram stories. I've, seen I've been doing it. that yeah. calendar. Yeah, and then yeah. people have screenshot it, put it on a weird website, and then they're all like saying whereabouts it lives in everything, and it's got like dead weird. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh my god, like oh, like this weird thing is happening to me," and I'm like, "You love it." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants to it's fuck It's quite me. scary though Because yeah. oh, he was oh, saying it, 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 whereabouts he lived oh, my, I got a text from my mum going Morgan I just googled you and I've just seen these images On a website oh. yeah. uh, and I, I was like oh my lord the f- the Nudes have finally been leaked They've finally been leaked yeah. And I go, luckily there's no nudes on there But it is people have just screenshotted my Instagram And they've been going oh this guy's really fit This, the, this that, the other And then the more you go down the more sort of the pit images yeah. and, it was, and it's people going where does he live and then one guy this is where it got scary one guy went oh yeah I checked his tour dates and then looked at uh, found it tried to find him online in those areas but I couldn't yeah. see him isn't that mental that is you- and I feel so sorry for you but I'm also a bit fuming that they've I- not done it for me <laughs> <laughs> I love to be stopped. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. want to feel wanted. You know? uh, he's my friend. I love him to bits. I want yeah. him to feel safe, but also absolutely fuming that none of them are stalking me. <laughs>
<laughs> Continue with the first straps, though. Like, don't let that yeah, step in the way. Yeah, I think I'll. You carry... should be free to be sharing that type of stuff about people yeah. being weird yeah. about it. Yeah, it's only you know, top it's where you'd never seen too. a good-looking man in their lives. And they're like, <laughs> oh my god, you know. Yeah. But one of them, he would, before he was like, one of them described his penis. Your penis. My yeah. penis. And I've always yeah, his but, penis. But then I was like, I've never seen his penis. And I was like, well, I could describe it. <laughs> yeah. And then I did. Presume. I just like, said. Yeah. Can I can I guess what your penis is like? <laughs> Join the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quick, we've got to go. But we've got to yeah. go, we got end to go. on Morgan's penis description. I'm thinking pink. <laughs> why am i doing this <laughs> i've only seen one penis in my life so, like uh pink cylindrical yes cylindrical uh attached to a set of balls yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with some yeah. penis you fat and big fat and big that's yeah right, pretty much <laughs> That sounds like me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the videos spilled out there. <laughs> Just tackling away when he takes it out. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's got a new name. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. See you guys Goodbye. next week. Bye-bye.